November of 1704, a small group first gathered to form what would become Little Compton's beloved United Congregational Church. The first structure went up in 1724, served the parishioners for over 100 years, and was demolished in 1832. Its timbers and all the history absorbed in them were used for a simple, single-story church, the foundation of the one we worship in today. As years passed, the building survived multiple renovations and natural disasters. The congregation survived changing lifestyles and attitudes. Thirty-four ministers have helped write our magnificent history. Throughout this journey, our faith has deepened. Today, our illuminated church steeple symbolizes the love in our church and in our hearts. The United Congregational Church of Little Compton, Rhode Island is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. We now make our way to the second floor where the congregation meets.
church houses the grand elegant Fratelli Rufati pipe organ made in Padua, Italy, which has been famous for mastering organ building since the 1700s. As we leave the Congregational Church, we pause to inscribe our names in the guest register. We leave this beautiful early colonial church and descend by way of one of the two circular staircases. Careful going down, it's a bit steep for this 80-year-old. visit and enter the church cemetery and see Elizabeth Pawbody's gravesite, also known as Elizabeth Alden Pawbody or Elizabeth Peabody, was allegedly the first white woman born in New England. Elizabeth Pawbody was born Elizabeth Alden in 1623, the firstborn child of the Plymouth Colony settlers John Alden and Priscilla Mullins who were both passengers on the Mayflower in 1620. She married William Pawbody, Peabody, a leader of Duxbury, Massachusetts, on December 26, 1644. All 13 of their children were born in Duxbury before Elizabeth eventually moved to Little Compton, Rhode Island in the 1680s. She died on the 31st of May in 1717 at the age of 94. 